Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is On the Ground in San Francisco. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE's The Cube. I'm here with Owen Garrett, the head of product Nginx, here for a special segment to talk about some of the new upcoming releases. Uh, HTTP2, HTTP2 is right. coming out. Yep. Give us a take on this. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, there's a, there's a chunk of technology we're working on for the next major release, and HTTP2 support is going to be one of the biggest developments. HTTP2 is the standardization of a protocol called Speedy. It's something that Google and other players pursued as a way to try and make the web faster and more secure. And finally, the standards are getting locked down in the form of HTTP2. Browsers are beginning to support it, and server applications like Nginx are adding in support. It's funny how we get here in this market. You know, yeah. everyone does stupid DNS tricks, all these hacks to make things secure, right. because the growth has been significant. The web scale companies have built their own. So yeah. talk about the implications of the standard that just got set and what's coming out in the new release. Sure, so the, the standard is a complex standard. It's not just a drop and replacement. It requires a lot of engineering, requires some very, very high quality code to make sure that it's implemented efficiently, effectively, and securely. It depends really heavily on SSL for security. That will become a standard for all HTTP, HTTP2 traffic. And these are areas that we've got a lot of track record in. We've been building this sort of technology for many years, and we're determined to build out a fantastic high performance, drop in easy to manage solution so that you can layer HTTP2 on the front of your applications, your APIs, your websites, so that your users can get the confidence that standards in place. You can stay at the front of technology as it continues to innovate, and we intend to deliver the gateway to technology that you need to do that. So take me through this. I want to do a drill down because my, sure. my mind's spinning. It seems really, really hard to the customer. So mm -hmm. you know, thinking you know, with tokens and and kind of siloed applications that have to run on top of open standards like HTTP and HBS, yeah. it seems like a lot of hassle for the customer to go out and you know, update all their apps. And it just it just scares me just to think about. Like, it's working now. What? Why would I do this? Why would I go to this next next rev? And and why should I do it? Seems seems harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pace of change in the industry is really quick in the last few years. HTTP itself is, an, uh, is a pretty old standard now, over 20 years old, and for years people have developed tricks and techniques to work around some of the limitations of that standard. HTTP2 is an attempt to try and productize that. It's a new layer on top of HTTP that deals with some of the performance issues that are inherent with HTTP. Why would I deploy if I'm a customer? So if you, you want to deploy that, if you're getting, to you're getting demand from your end users, they want the security of knowing that your site is running on a secure platform. They want to know that you're delivering the best possible performance. One of the main benefits of HTTP2 is the way that it ham that clients can send requests to the server. They can ask for things in a much more efficient way. So over in many circumstances, you'll get better performance, faster websites, less delay, and there's a really strong correlation between the speed of a website and the amount of time that a user spends on that site. And that time often ends up in greater transactions, greater advertising revenue, whatever the KPIs are for your site, performance is something which will help to influence. So let me site. try to understand this. So if I'm running like Node.js at the edge sure. and I'm running a lot of stuff on the browser, I got memory problems, All is that yeah. related to this stuff? Is, it, is this the right profile customer that would need this? That's the right kind of profile customer, but where you the, our approach for HTTP2 will be to layer that in front of your Node.js application. You don't need to tweak the application to support HTTP2, you need to put an HTTP2 gateway, a translator, in front. That's exactly what we do now for SSL, for Speedy. It's a common, a common pattern, well understood, and we're extending the product so we'll also be able to do the same for HTTP2. So basically it's non-disruptive to the operations, to the customers that you guys have. That, that's our goal. There's a lot of concern in the industry about how are, in, how are enterprises going to move from their, tr their current architecture to one that supports HTTP2. And our goal is to provide the tools and to make that transition as easy as possible for them. How big is this going to be, HTTP2? I mean, it sounds awesome. We need more security. That's the number one yeah. thing people are worried about. Identity theft, losing their credit cards. It's happening all the time. Fraud is huge. Obviously, big data will help that, which is another DevOps movement. Mm -hmm. But but what is how big will this be, in your opinion, personal opinion? It's going to be a significant bit of technology. It's going to be something that you will need to support as a website operator in order to stay relevant and to stay current. You can't quite, you can't measure the size of the technology. We can make predictions about the adoption. But you feel good about this, it's pretty critical. But it's, it's an important thing to support. It shows the direction that the industry is going in. 
It's critical infrastructure, HTTP yeah. running all the protocol. So will we hear about this at a developer conference in September here in yep. San Francisco? Yep, there's a lot of updates coming at our, at our user conference. So not just around HTTP2, there's a number of other innovations we've got in the product and we're going to be releasing or showcasing those in September. Where do I get information on this uh, Nginx website? What are some of the yeah. location, URLs, Twitter handles, uh, uh, web addresses? Yeah, come and hit the website, nginx.com. You'll see, as we open, we already have a call for papers. As we open it up for registration, you'll see it advertised through there, through nginx.org. You, you won't miss it. Okay. Owen Garrett, head of product here in San Francisco. We're on the ground. I'm John Furrier. Thanks for watching. Special CUBE conversation on the ground in San Francisco. Thanks for watching.